Holy shit, this season is cracked. In my last video where I talked about Shikimori, I said I'd come back to watching anime because Shikimori and Kaguya-sama were airing this season. Those were the only two shows I knew that were airing this season. Oh boy, was I in for a fucking surprise. Bam, 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 bam. Holy shit, we rom com enjoyers are feasting. My Dress of Darling was carrying the whole genre on its back last season, but thankfully, this season we have so much to watch. You're looking for a wholesome slice of life? We got you covered. You're looking for diabetes inducing romance? We got you covered. You're looking for a show with a little bit more comedy? We got you fucking covered. You're looking for something with a bit more death while still maintaining the romance comedy? Bam. Masterpiece. I could keep gushing about how much I love this season and this genre, but surprisingly, my favorite anime this season isn't any of the shows I just listed and isn't a romantic comedy. And honestly, I'm sad that this show isn't getting the recognition it deserves. Not only because it has a great story, great animation, and a great OST, but because it has the most banger opening of the season, baby. Yo Boy Kongman is about the story of, excuse my pronunciation, Zhu Liang, courtesy name Kong Ming, a very prominent Chinese historical figure being reincarnated in modern day Japan. Now, history has always been my least favorite subject, so even saying this premise has made me go, <laughs> but trust me, I'm not doing this show enough justice. While I don't think anything will stop the absolute perfection that is Marin Kitagawa, our female lead of this show, Eiko, is my pick for Best Girl Spring 2022. I'm sorry, Your Forager, and I'm sorry, Shikimori, you're gonna have to take the L on this one. Maybe it's because I just like blonde anime girls, but Eiko really resonates with me. Minor spoiler warning ahead. The feeling that you're not good enough and that maybe it's just better to give up really hit close to home. I just want to throw in the towel for college and put all my eggs in the basket of content creating but I honestly can't bring myself to do that as the uncertainty of everything is a little too frightening. The scene where Kong Min gives Eiko the motivation to continue pursuing her dream of singing, seeing the tears build up in her eyes and eventually smiling again. Fuck me dude, I nearly started crying myself. How the fuck do YouTubers do this shit. Listening to my own voice is making me cringe. But enough of this is sad shit. Wakana Gojo, I love you, man. You're an absolute great protagonist up with the likes of Mew King Shiragane. But Kong Ming, best boy 2022, baby. Fuck you, Nish. Ah, I love this season so much. Not to mention, I'm finally watching Demon Slayer on the side to really see what the hype is about. And honestly, I'm really enjoying it so far. As it currently is though, Jujutsu Kaisen is still, I think, a bit better in my opinion when it comes to Shonen, but I'm only 7 episodes in, so we'll have to see when I can finally complete Demon Slayer. I wonder what's being aired next season. Ooh, the long awaited Devil is a part timer season 2, let's fucking go. I made a video on its announcement a while back and it's finally fucking here. Can't wait to watch that next season. Another season of Made in Abyss, my boy Zween is gonna be all over this shit. We get a rom-com in the form of Even So, Ayumi draws closer to the endgame, made by the same author who made Teasing Master Tagagi, so at least it'll be a good comfy watch. Overlord and Don Manchi Season 4 are being released. I haven't watched Season 2 or 3 of either show yet, but I'll actually get to it. This season isn't as stacked, but it doesn't look too bad. So honestly, I think I'm going to join myself next season. Wait. What's the Ano, yonin no kanojo ga futatabi. Kazuya-kun. Kazuya-kun. Kazuya-san. Kazuya-kun. Kita.
wasn't expecting to make another Wii video so soon, but here we are. Gaming content has been a little bit on the sleeper side. If you enjoyed the video, like the video, comment down below on what you would like to, me to talk about next. If you want to continue supporting the channel, click that subscribe button down below and click the bell if you want to get notifications for it. And hopefully, next video, I ain't going to be gushing about anime. Because I'm going to be gushing about Risk of Rain 2!